Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Going insane on Cookie Clicker? Need something to satisfy your cravings for the golden cookie? Then you must be experiencing the Cookie Conundrum. The podcast about all things Cookie Clicker. Um, yes? Hello? Cookies! And welcome to the new podcast about, again, all things Cookie Clicker. The Cookie Conundrum, episode 1, recorded on October the 2nd, 2013. Um, I was gonna do this episode last night, but had some issues, and then last week, I actually kind of forget. But anyhow, how this show is gonna go is, first... We have how things have been going on, and I'm not really sure I am going to get into that. I don't really have any guests in or any co-hosts, but I guess I will leave it to, um, actually, first of all, let me explain what Cookie Clicker is. It is a game... Made by Orteal42, which you can find him on Tumblr or Twitter. Um, his username is Orteal, that is O R T E I L, and then 42. Um, over the summer, I believe, he had made the original Cookie Clicker, now called Cookie Clicker Classic, which you can find at um, or teal dash, yeah, or teal dot dash net dot org slash experiments slash cookie, in which this, it, it was basically, um, well now it's just an older version of cookie clicker, in which you add the cursor, the grandma, the farm, factory, mine, etc., and now with the new one you have I think he got time machine in the original but the new one is the antimatter condenser which came in the antimatter update anti cookies update I mean and um so what you do in this game is First, you start off, exclu- excuse my clicking here, if you hear any clicking, that is. But, um, the cookie, the big chocolate chip cookie you have on the left side of your screen, and this is at ortil.dashnet.org slash cookie clicker. All one word on the cookie clicker part. And all you gotta do is click it and click it, and click it a few more times, and by doing that, you bake cookies, which then you can use to get um, extra stuff to bake you even more cookies. A cursor, a grandma, a farm, a factory, a mine, shipment, alchemy lab, portal, time machine, And lastly, like I've already said, antimatter condenser, cursor being the least expensive, and then all the way to the antimatter condenser being the most expensive. And I forget how much it is, I'm not exactly sure if there is a wiki for this. There probably is, and if there isn't, then there should be one created someday. And, um, so you get cursors, they'll auto-click your big cookie once every ten seconds. Grandmas just help you bake more cookies. Farms grow the cookie plants from cookie seeds. Factories produce large quantities of cookies. Mines mine out cookie dough and chocolate chips. Shipments 
bring in fresh cookies from the cookie planet. Alchemy labs turn gold into cookies. Portals open the door to th they open doors to the cookie to the cookie verse. The time machine brings cookies from the past before they were even eaten. Excuse that little thing, someone's calling me on Skype. Which I you which I will be using for having guests or whomever on the show, if we ever do get there. And antimatter condensers which condense the antimatter in the universe into cookies. And um yeah, that's about all of the power-ups, and as for myself, I have about 31.5, that's thousand, uh, million, 31.5 trillion cookies per second, no, that's... Well, yeah, that is trillion, all right. And so, let's get to news. Or what I like to call time machine time. And I will get bumpers for these soon. Or if you viewers or listeners would like to send me ideas for bumpers or sounds or whatever, or even your own bumpers, I'd relish the opportunity to check them out. So, first thing on the list is the newest update, which came out yesterday. The Smoothing It Out update, which the first thing on that list I'm so very happy about, in which they in which Ortiel rewrote all the visual effects so that they can run more smoothly and take up, well, use up less CPU. So now, Cookie Clicker on my computer runs truly a lot more smoothly. Um, there is a new upgrade tier which I've already gotten. Um, spoiler alert. They will be double thick glasses, gingerbread scarecrows, H bomb mining, aqua crustulae, um, oh, chocolate monolith I missed, which are for shipments, and brain, tr yeah, brain transplants, which they. He spells the brain thing B R A N E rather than the normal spelling. Um, more news with this is um, Speed Warp, in which you can find this on or Teal's Twitter, in which he replied to at Fredly. In which he asked, I loved click Cookie Clicker so much, I made my own game. I'd love you to try it out. In brackets, be patient. And he leaves the link, and Ortiel says, Haha, is that inspired by Cookie Clicker? Feels very candy box like to me. I played it the other day. Pretty neat. And Medley. Who is that guy's last name? And I'm tugging on my headset cord. Um, yeah, there's some cookie goodness hidden away in there, though. If you could tweet it out, that would be awesome. And what this game is, Speed Warp, is... It's got a timing thing going on, a stopwatch. And you keep on clicking stuff and it makes the time go faster and then eventually you'll get an arcade that you can play on and 
It's quite interesting. And looks a lot like it was done in something like Batch. So I feel like that kind of graphical style, I definitely recommend it. And the last thing in the news, stuff from his Tumblr, which is orteal42.tumblr.com. I will include that in the show notes. So the most recent one was asked by Anonymous, in which he takes in questions. The way you talk reminds me of Andrew Hussey. As for myself, I've never heard Orteo talk, but... Did you just whip it out of nowhere, or did you see it, read it somewhere? Well, see it slash read it somewhere. And the answer to that is, you mean the deadpan punctuation less lowercase thing? Oh, punctuation less lowercase thing. Nah, man. That's just how people talk on this here WAB site, you know. I think it's descended from those odd, you are a dog, they don't even fit memes. And also that webcomic by John Campbell, maybe? With a lot of question marks. And this is another one. Also from today, asked by another anonymous user. I want to play your video game, but you are also a commie Frenchman, and I am a hot-blooded true America. Do you see my dilemma? Well, that's it. I'm taking the Statue of Liberty back. And the last one that I will broadcast is Anonymous asks, How are you French? And Orteal answers, That's what I ask myself every morning. And that's actually, maybe I'll do this one last one that caught my my attention, not attention. And it was the screenshot. Anonymous asked you, Hi, Orteal. I love your game. Or non-game in brackets. Cookie Clicker. Where did you get the idea of making Cookie Clicker? Bracket. Don't ask why I'm full of good English. Bracket. And then, XX sounds speed XX asks, What was the inspiration for Cookie Clicker? Was it boredom? Inebriation? Which I will find that definition right now. And I'll even add that into the show notes. It means drunkenness or intoxication. Or a mixture of the two that led to this godsend. And another anonymous asks, What inspired you to create this game? And the answer is, One, sleepness, one sleepless night of boredom. Really, it's super easy to get silly game ideas out when it all takes to make a video game is a text processor and a browser. But yeah, my main inspiration would be Candy Box. Cow Clicker, not so much. And actually, I guess I'll include one last one. Anonymous has... Hey, I was wondering, did it hurt when you fell from game-making heaven? And the answer is, oh, ha 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 ha, goodness me, oh, you, and I'm not sure if I really got the expression in that right, but I'm just reading it. Now, the next section, I 
am not going to really get into too much. Um, listener contributions in which you, the listeners, can send stuff in. I'll probably get that maybe set up for episode 2 next week on Tuesday. Um, in which the reason why this was originally planned to be a Tuesday show was, well, so that the Tuny Tuesday Cookie Clickery name would fit, but I decided I'd go for a shorter and more intriguing name. But anyhow, where you can send in comments on the show or questions for hosts or guests, etc. Or even advice or anything like that. But for now, I'm going to skip that as there aren't any listener contributions. <laughs> Next up is The Generator. I've s yet to also get this one's bumper done. Oh, yes, and with the listener contributions, how I'm going to do that is. Listeners or viewers can make up bumpers if they like and then send it to my Gmail or if you know me on Skype or know my Skype, which is JBJ Blaze, you can send me the file of the audio. And the generator, this is where you can send in your ideas for what you think should be added, removed, or changed with Cookie Clicker. It can be the smartest thing to the dumbest thing. That's what the hosts slash guests will decide on. And if oh, if What's the word I'm looking for? Glory or miracle? If a miracle happens, maybe Ortiel will add it to the game. And so, I guess I'll just put some of my ideas out there. Even though one of my ideas has already been answered. Even though I never really thought of it myself, but making everything just a... Uh, had faster. Um, I'm not sure if it's already in the game, but having never ending. What do I call it? Upgrades as well as. What's the other thing that's never ending? Um, cloud-based saves or something. Although I suppose that's always doable with just the codes. You can get your saved save codes. And holy crap, I just clicked on this thing and I got a clicking frenzy. And, um, I'm running out of thoughts here. Um, an option where... If you do the beta testing thing that you can keep your amount of cookies, although I'm sure that's probably already offered with the save, come to think of it now. And possibly, actually, I, I like this idea, a way to rearrange your um, table of all your buildings and everything. Changing the arrangement. So if you don't want to see your grandmas up top, put them down to the bottom or to the middle or what have you. And I'm thinking that is about it. And that's the other thing. S possibly some kind of multiplayer. Unless that's being done with dungeons. However, that's getting made. But, um... 
I, I think it would be definitely something interesting to have multiplayer in the game somehow. Maybe send a code to a friend so that they can join your game. But anyhow, that's all I have right now for ideas. And to one of the very last sections, which I saw also have yet to get a bumper made up for it. From around the cookieverse, which um, viewers and listeners can also send in contributions of their own, in which these are. It's kind of like Time Machine Time, except for rather than news stuff or blogging stuff or whatever. Um, basically, videos or anything like that. And so, basically, stuff you've seen done with Kogi Clicker, like modifications or. Um, YouTube videos for it, um, in which I have actually a couple, in which this first one, which, please don't be too deceived by the title of the site, um, dragonporn.ldblog.jp. And watch this Baba Jack post. Um, there, is, there are um, screenshots of. Th this is a. And I'm not sure if I just hit my mic. And if I did, I might just edit it out. I don't know. Um, and watch. It's a mod for Skyrim. I believe where you can add in cookies, so if I can get a screenshot set up here. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is being a little more difficult, but I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, I suppose you probably can see it, but basically like that with cookies being all over the place. Pretty cool stuff, in my opinion. Or even that, or th this one really looks intriguing to me. But anyhow, I'll get rid of that. And the other things are... Um, and I saw this stuff on YouTube, in which one was by Seth Bling, and it's also in one of the links in the Shaft Podcast's show notes, which is a Minecraft podcast. Um, great stuff, by the way. And, um... Seth Bling and Ant Venom did up videos. Seth Bling has one where he does cookie clicker in Minecraft. Just gotta refine it first. Cookie clicker. And here it is. So, cookie clicker in Minecraft by Seth Bling, in which he shows. Off, um, basically the cookie clicker game but in Minecraft and it, it's very neat in which it uses new stuff from the from either the newest or one of the new Minecraft snapshots and um, basically you just click on each button for each thing and it uses a certain mod and yeah and then the other one is cookie clicker but cookie clicker the game by 
and Venom, it's longer, but um, he is playing the classic version, and I will put these in the show notes, but I will also show you a little snapshot of the info of the video, so right there, by Seth Bling and Ant Venom, and... So yeah, so that is all for from around the cookieverse, and I uh, still have yet to get to the rest of these bumpers. I apologize for the lack of bumpers, but I thought I'd get a first episode out first. Um, this one is for shout outs, so this is where guests slash hosts will shout out to awesome people out there um a great big shout out goes to you or teal 40 to for making such a brilliant addicting yet pointless game and that is a full compliment and i hope you keep on doing it and the Grand Matriarchs have just attacked me. And so, um, and I'd also like to shout out to a few other groups. Um, do 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 do. Just a gaming blog. They're a pretty darn good community on Steam in which they blog about games and review games um, I believe it's just a gaming blog or just a gaming dot wordpress dot com you can also find them on Steam at um Hold on. Guess I don't get to have a URL to it other than a GID. Just a gaming blog. So after group slash just a gaming blog. Um, trading Revolution. Great trading group. Although it needs a little more people in it to have it be a little more active. Uh, and I moderate it. So... Well, actually, there's a lot of moderators and officers and a whole bunch. But anyhow, you can... I'll close this up now. So you can find updates on future episodes on gplus.to slash jbjblaze, which is my main Google Plus or gbjblaze.blogspot.ca um, as well as gplus.to slash jbjblaze on the and then muze which is all caps the muze part on actually I won't really include the Facebook part but um, and you can follow me on Twitter at JBJ Blaze, um, and you can get updates there. And lastly, um, on the Steam community groups, the flipping awesome, not flipping, but flipping, since you can't put apostrophes in URLs. Um, I thank you all for tuning in. Um, and I will hopefully see you all next Tuesday. And this is JVJ Blaze from the Cookie Conundrum, a Cookie Clicker podcast, signing out. And if I can get this bumper to play. <laughs>
find updates on this at the flippin' awesome dot engine dot com. That is engine e n g e n j i n, and um, I am going to probably put up a new page on there for this podcast. And again, see you all next week, and have a good night. Bye-bye.